Hey, this is Gary from 3 Bug Media, and today we're going to discuss a local marketing funnel and strategy that will work for your small business. Now, most small businesses, when it comes to online marketing, they don't have a strategy in place. They do tactics. So they read about Facebook ads or somebody tells them about social media or Google AdWords and they go try it. Doesn't work. And then they get fed up with it and they say, you know, these online channels don't work for my business. Well, it's not that it's not working. It's that you don't have a strategy in place. So today I'm just going to give you a little overview of an online marketing strategy that you can apply for your local business. It's simple in concept does definitely take a little bit of work to set up and take some trial and error and optimization and stuff like that. But once you understand it and you're able to set this up, it's pretty easy to do. And once you get it working right, you can scale up your traffic and you can really start feeding people into your marketing funnel. Okay. So when we're creating an online marketing funnel or online marketing system for your local business, we want to cover four things. We want to cover number one, traffic coming to your website. A landing page, so where are they going to go to once they're on your website? You need an offer. What are you going to offer them in return for a sale or an email or whatever you're going to ask for them? And you need a lead nurturing campaign because the vast majority of people that come to your site are not going to buy on the first visit. So you need some mechanisms in place in order to continue to reach out to them and speak to them and nurture them until they're ready to become a customer for your business. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about traffic. Okay. Now, depending on your business, your skill set, experience, your market, you're probably not going to do all of these, but you may do some. So you may do local SEO where you're optimizing your website, creating a lot of content on your site to attract your ideal local customer. You can be doing Google AdWords or Facebook ads to target exactly who you're trying to sell to and bringing them to your website. You can do social media if you're good at social media, or you can do offline marketing. If you're doing print material, you know, print ads, postcards, newspapers, radio ads, anything, direct them to your website and it works exactly the same way. So the first mechanism you need is traffic, which is something you'll need to, to address and see which ones will work for your business. Once you have a traffic source and you're sending people to your website, you're going to do two things. One of two things. You're either going to send them to an opt-in offer page, which is a page basically where you're offering people something free, something of value in exchange for an email address. And that could be maybe a coupon that could be some kind of download like a ebook or some kind of guide related to your industry or, or something like that. And you're going to offer that, offer that item of value that solves a customer's problem in exchange for an email address. Email address is very important because it's going to take, it's going to play a big role in your lead nurturing campaign. Or you can send people to your sales page, whether you're selling a product, a service, or whatever it is, you send people directly to your sales page. And most of the time, you, if you're doing paid traffic like Google AdWords, maybe Facebook ads, you're going to send them to a sales page. If you're doing something like social media, things like that, you might send them to an opt-in page because they may not be ready to buy it. So you'll have to determine, you know, if you're going to send them to a sales page or an opt-in page, or you make both. And then according to what kind of traffic you're sending, you send them either to the opt-in page or the sales page. Okay. So step one is traffic. Step two is a place that you're going to send them to and you need an offer for them. So if it's an opt-in offer, it needs to be a really good offer, either a coupon or something of value that's going to solve a problem. Maybe that's a guide, a template, some kind of free PDF download, you know, that they can use whatever, you know, if they're a mortgage, you're a mortgage company, maybe you send them a guide to work out what their house payments would be or how much they can afford or a checklist of things they need to do to ensure they get a loan, things like that, something of value for them. You're going to give them that, or you're going to send them to a sales page. You have to make sure you have a good compelling offer. So if your offer is simply call us for a free estimate or something like that, that's not an offer. That's a prerequisite. Everyone in, in your industry offers free estimates or free quotes or whatever, whatever you're offering. If everybody else is offering, it's not really an offer. You want to offer something that your competitors aren't or something that they're afraid to offer. They think it's too valuable to give away. Don't be afraid to get bold because that's how you're going to convert your traffic into sales. Okay. So a lot of businesses do these two steps. They probably don't have a good offer you know, but, uh, they do have traffic. They send them to a website. Okay. But here's where the local marketing funnel 
comes into play and we create a really consistent, cohesive system. It's your post visit because the vast majority of people that come to your site are not going to convert on the first visit. Okay, so they're not going to come to your site and buy unless they're super desperate, they already know you or, you know, it's an emergency and they need to buy something. Most people are going to comparison shop, take their time, do their research, read reviews, and then maybe come back to your site at a later date or maybe not come back. Okay, so you're going to do two things at this point. You're going to install what's called remarketing code on your website. And remarketing is simply somebody comes to your website, the code drops a tracking cookie on their device, and then once they leave, you can continue to advertise and market to them after they leave for a pre-amount determined amount of time, whether it's a week or a couple months or whatever. And you can continue to reach out to them. Even if they don't give you their email address, you can still, you're tracking their device. And you probably see this with e-commerce. You go to you go to Amazon and then later on you see Amazon ads with the product that you were looking at. That's called remarketing. So it works very well. It's not very expensive and it's not very hard to set up. So you, number one, you want to set up remarketing. Number two, if you get your opt-in, you want to try to get their email address. Very important to get their email address because it's going to help you with your lead nurturing campaign. So now you have people come to your website, probably 90, 98 to 99% of the people will not purchase. So 99% of those people leave your website without purchasing. So if you don't have a lead nurturing campaign set up, you've wasted 99% of your money at this point because chances are they're never coming back to your website. So when you do remarketing, you, you get a second chance to reach out to them. You get a second chance to educate them, give them another offer, stay top of mind while they're doing comparison shopping, doing their research, things like that. Same thing with email. So once you get their email, you're gonna create what's called an autoresponder. And an autoresponder is when somebody gets added to your email marketing email list, a preset determined amount of emails are going to go out. So you might send one out an hour later. You may send one out the next day. You may send another one out three days later. You may send another one out five days later. The frequency and amount of emails that you create really depends on your sales cycle. So if it's a short sales cycle, people tend to buy within a week then you may compact it and send maybe three emails, one every day or every other day. If it's something like financial planning where it's, people may need several weeks before they can decide on who to choose, then you may spread that autoresponder, that email sequence out to maybe five or seven emails and spread that over, over the course of a month on there. So it really depends on what you're doing. But the nice thing is if you have remarketing set up, you get to market to people even if they don't leave their email address on your website. And if they leave their email address, you can start a lead nurturing campaign and your remarketing for them. So you know, even if they leave your website, you're continuing to market to them over time. And that's where you can start to convert a lot more people than you would if you just gave them a one and done opportunity, come here and if you don't buy, leave and I'll never see you again, okay? So what's gonna happen is you're not gonna convert everybody, but you're gonna convert a certain percentage of people that are gonna see your remarketing ads, get your emails, and eventually make their way back to your sales page, because you're gonna be linking back to your sales page again, and let them give them a second opportunity or third opportunity to convert, to buy your product or fill out a contact form, whatever your conversion is going to be on the website. And this system here is where now you've created a local marketing funnel, okay? And you have a system in place here. So what's gonna happen when you first start it? Reality is it may not work very well because you have a lot of elements here. You need to get your traffic right, you need to get your offer and your landing pages right, and you need to figure out what kind of ads for your remarketing campaign are gonna resonate, what type of emails are gonna resonate. But what's gonna happen is over time, you're gonna start getting pickier and getting better with your traffic. You're gonna start to optimize your sales page and your opt-in offers, you're gonna test different offers out and you're gonna get better at it. And you're gonna get better with your remarketing and your emails that you're sending out to them. And over time, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start converting more and more people because you're gonna get better and better at running this marketing system here, okay? Then what's gonna happen is once, you, once it really starts to work well for you, that's where you can turn, open the floodgates up and you can start sending tons of traffic to your website because now you know it converts well, it's making money for you, and then there's so many sources of traffic, get qualified traffic online today that you're going, your job is going to be to send as much traffic as possible to your website, to your landing page, and let the marketing system do its work. 
So you're not sweating over each part, part of these. This is all running by itself. And now your job is to manage it, make improvements to it, and figure out how to feed this funnel. And that is how you're going to create a highly effective online marketing strategy for your local business, okay? So this is just an overview. I just wanted to explain how it works. So we didn't, obviously didn't go into detail in each section of it, but hopefully now you kind of get a view of how you can create a simple marketing system